Hi. I died of fire. <laughs> I killed one. Oh, no. I died of fire. So, ledge boarding wasn't actually always in Sea of Thieves. After a couple of bug fixes, something changed with the collision of the galleon's side walls, to the point where you can actually walk on it as long as the boat's leaning the right way. It's really easy to do, and honestly anyone can do it. So it's a good idea right now to learn how to do this and learn the quirks for your next fight. After this was discovered a couple years ago, some creators like Abusive Pillow popularized it by making funny clips, getting funny reactions out of people. Yeah, they are. Blue, I'm, I'm fresh running. Uh, just get buckets kind of delayed. Okay, I just two tapped one, he didn't die. I'm on. Good shit. Uh, I'm gonna cut behind them, dude. Killed one. Anchoring them. Exploits? Them, them. No. You can call it an exploit. You can call it a secret tactic, it doesn't really matter. Every PvP player at some point is going to accidentally land on this ledge or run across it. So it's best to learn it and learn how to defend it and learn how to use it for your own advantage. So it's pretty easy to do. The only thing you've got to spot is you've got to watch for how the boat is leaning and try to go for the ladder where the boat is leaning the most in your favor. If it's leaning at about a 45 degree angle, that's a pretty good angle for you to get a good board. So you basically just let go of the ladder at any point when you're climbing up, and you'll land on this ledge. And what a lot of people don't realize is this ledge extends almost all the way to the front of the boat. So you can just sprint forward and board from the front, or you can sprint to the back and take cover around the back. It might also be a good idea to trade shots here. A lot of people aren't going to be expecting you to be shooting from the ladder like this, and a lot of the time you can catch people off guard. So keep in mind, at the very best, you're going to get about 10 seconds on this ledge before the boat rocks back. I usually like to jump to these actual built-in ledges, because you can stand on those even if the boat's leaning. And from there you can climb into a cannon, sometimes you can parkour up the side. At that point, hopefully you're safely on. So another point is, if you're a helm that wants to make sure you don't get ledge boarded, it might be a good idea to try to point your boat into those northwest waves, or completely away from those northwest waves. This will limit the enemy's ability to board your boat this way, and it'll force them to probably climb up the traditional way. That said, it's never going to be possible to prevent this all the time, so you've just got to be ready for it. As you'd expect, the collision isn't the greatest and it can be a bit buggy. Playing water. What the f I can't wall. Run. Hi, Tato. <laughs> Hello. Unintentional or intentional mechanic, I'm not really sure. Could this get patched in the future? Absolutely. So enjoy it while it lasts. Just like Peep's Pepsi, which was short lived but will never be forgotten. And that's pretty much it. If you think you've learned something from this video, please subscribe as I'm probably going to be putting out more stuff like this. Just little tips and unintended mechanics that I haven't really seen people talk about. And if you have any questions about this mechanic or any others, leave a comment and I will try to get back to that as soon as I can. Peace.